how often have you had to tell someone that you could not keep to a schedule or a plan because you were not feeling well did you know that there are several other interesting ways that you can say the same thing and sound like a native speaker instead of telling someone that you are not feeling well you can tell them that you are out of sorts or indisposed or better still there is an idiom that you could use watch the video to find out all about it hi everyone i'm melaine from english made easy striving to help you improve your english in every possible way with new simple and interesting lessons every day after you learn the idiom i have a short quiz for you as well here's today's idiom under the weather under the weather it means unwell so instead of telling people that you are not feeling well you can say that you are under the weather and they will understand exactly what you are trying to say here are some examples of sentences with this idiom the first one she had to lie down for some time as she was under the weather she had to lie down for some time as she was under the weather here's another one he was under the weather last week but is feeling much better now he was under the weather last week but is feeling much better now the third one the little girl cannot join the others in the park as she is under the weather the little girl cannot join the others in the park as she is under the weather and another one i will go home early today as i am under the weather i will go home early today as i am under the weather while the idiom most commonly means that you are unwell it could also mean that you are depressed in low spirits not as cheerful as usual or even as a slang intoxicated it seems that the idiom originated at a time when a sailor was not feeling well and would be sent to rest out on the deck as they believed that the weather was affecting him it has a direct relation to the weather and hence the phrase under the weather i do hope that the meaning and the usage of the idiom is clear to you from this lesson do use the idiom when you can so that it becomes a regular part of your speech and writing this is the fourth idiom that i have done so i encourage you to check out all the other three as well i will put a link to them in the description box practice using idioms as and when you can and you will begin to sound like a native speaker and somewhere here you will find a very interesting idiom that you can use for all those annoying people in your life that do not like to accept responsibility for their actions do check it out and now for the quiz i promised you at the beginning of the lesson are you ready the first question think of a six letter word beginning with a that means under the weather a six letter word beginning with a and the meaning is under the weather the answer is ailing ailing the second question for you what is a phrase used for someone who looks pale and ill the first word in the phrase is off off what is a phrase used for someone who looks pale and ill begin with off and the answer is off color 
of color. The third one for you. There is another phrase beginning with the word washed with the same meaning. What is it? Another phrase beginning with the word washed and has the same meaning. Washed out. Did you guess it? And here's another with the same meaning that talks about gills, the gills of a fish. Do you know that one? And let's see if you guessed it right. The answer is green around the gills. Green around the gills. Well, that was the last one and I hope you enjoyed the quiz. If you are ever feeling under the weather, do get some rest until you feel better for there is nothing more important than good health. Until we meet again, keep that gorgeous smile on your face and you will feel invincible. Bye for now.